Father, father, come quick. There's lights in the field. I'll get my shotgun, boy. You ready the horses? We'll catch some cow thieves at it this time. Oh, they'll be in for it when we get there. Father, what's going on? I don't know, but it looks like they're taking some of the crops. There's a noise. I can hear something above us. Father, father, look. There's something in the sky that's moving. Oh, boy. I don't know what it is, but ready your shotgun, we'll take it out. Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. I bet you weren't expecting an opening sequence like that then. <laughs> oh, I got messing about and I ended up with crop circles. I was... I did start a bit of decorating down here. Um, put a load of bushes in. So I've just got this up looking nice. And I've put a couple of roads in. But what I've done is I've just for the time being is I'll put blockers at the end of the roads and at the sides just so the AI doesn't start playing around with them they're just there as uh, place markers so that I've got in and out so these join up easily I just need to remove that blocker and then they'll, they'll reconnect up they're, stri they're straightforward I've opened these up as well up to about here um, I'm not going to be able to click on any blockers at the moment I don't think I'll be able to. no because all the bushes are in the way mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you just see one there. So they are they are in there, but uh, you can't really click on them when the bushes are over the top of them. So that's why I wanted to get these roads in so that I could decorate up around in between. And I want to sort of I'll, I'll let the houses grow to a certain size, go to maybe about this sort of size, and then stick a blocker in along the back edge of them. Then that way they won't ever take up a bigger footprint than there. I can decorate up behind them. Get it looking nice. This takes ages though. The main problem is with it is the spacing on the uh, bushes. Let me show you. I'll go jump into a speed build in a minute, but uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update. <laughs> Especially after my uh, alien abduction at the beginning. <laughs> that was so much fun to make, but it took way too long for such a short 90 second scene thing. Um, Right, these are them red bushes. So I'm not done this side because I, I, I am gonna I'm gonna build over here. Uh, I've got plans for this area, but I'm not gonna do it yet. Um, so I'll just show you what I mean here with these bushes. Now, if you hold your finger down and you try and fill in, this is what you get. You just keep going over it and over it and over it and over it and over it, and it takes ages to fill in. And it still won't fill in certain areas, it just keeps missing them and missing them. So you actually have to go in and manually fill in the gaps in order to get it done. That's why it takes so long. To so that section there, the, just this bit here took my best part of an hour, including getting these roads in as well. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> just me to do something that's going to take me absolutely ages to get it all the way around the map. <laughs> Let's get rid of these. There we go. Right. Um, yeah, my factories are still moaning at me. It's because there's loads of... This, this is clearing out now. It's nice to clear out. Um, them trucks are doing the job and they're carrying some waste back but uh, still a lot on these lines 
mostly alcohols on here stuck there at the moment so I don't want to start adding more and more trains um, I'll just wait until they get a bit better they'll just have to wait we just have to get moaned at um, there's quite a lot I want to get on with and decorate and I don't want to run the time forward too much by faffing about with goods trains it's working the network's working things are moving and goods are moving and we're getting all the goods into all the towns so if it ain't broke don't fix it well, it is broke a bit, but only in the fact that every now and again stuff's backing up. I don't matter. At least there's stuff to go out. It's not like they're not producing anything and there's nothing going out. That would be more of a problem. Right, so, um, <laughs> yeah. I was <laughs> I stuck this field there. I was going to do some big ones in this field. I'm glad I didn't because they, <laughs> this took me ages to fill this in. I need to work on my circles a bit. <laughs> my circles look quite round there. <laughs> I like the alien face, I thought it was quite funny. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that in a few fields. I'll use some of the yellow ones on here as well. Um, I'll do some patterns, I'll have some crop, some crop circles, but I'm not going to do them in all of them. It'll just be overkill and look silly. Just one every now and again with a few patterns in it here and there. but. What I'm going to do with the rest of them, rather than having these just sort of flat yellow textures that, you know, look strange, I'm going to go down with lines of bushes and just have them in, have them in rows and then do, do make the fields look a lot better. Obviously, I'm not going to do the the ones that are, look like they've just been ploughed and dug over. Um, but some of them, especially these yellow ones, because I'm not too keen on the yellow ones. So some will have just lines. We'll get a few with a few crop circles in, so I can play around with a few designs. And then some I'll do with a load of bales like this. I'll do some of the grass bales as well. Because I quite like this look as well. Looks like it's all just been ploughed, uh, harvested. So yeah, I, I, I'm not too keen on this colour. I think I'll go along this with some green bushes, and maybe with some red ones or something. Maybe mix a few up. That gives me a bit more scope to make the farming land look a bit better. I've still got that farm to do over here yet, but I'm going to incorporate that. I'm thinking a big castle up here with some big gardens. I was actually mentioned in a comment um, from Marine42. I salute you there, sir. Um, and we're going to do a maze. And I, I, I have actually been looking at pictures of mazes because I plan, you know, like I did with the allotment. Um, uh, where are we? We're down here. Like I did with the allotment here, with the gravel paths, with the invisible paths. I think I can use them. I'll use the gravel path to start off with and make the shape of a maze um, with the paths and then fill bushes in around the edges and then switch it all back to sort of grass paths. So it looks like a proper maze. Get some people magnets in there as well and I can have some people going down. But that's where I'm going to take these two lines they're going to come up and there's going to be a big a big castle with some big gardens outside of it, loads of shops and some forest and sort of walkways through the forest. There'll be a train station in there, so it'll be like a, like a big touristy destination. I'm not doing that today though, I might do that on the next episode. Um, I think I want to get, I would like to go and do that now, but I need to get this done. I haven't got any. I haven't got a bus or a tram depot. We're gonna to have to get the trams on the go soon. Um, these buses up here are stuck. Another ten buses on this. No, not that one. This one. Um, so there's thirty vehicles on there, and we've got the lobby stand, however you pronounce it. But um, it's constantly full still, at 150 capacity. So I could do some trams going up and down and around, even if it was just up one side, just for the time being, because everything's grown out this side. But what I want to do is get um, get a load of industrial units in here, get the bus and tram depot in. I can, this road's up a bit, so I'll pop a little bridge over, a couple of little bridges over from this side. Um, industrial area in here, get bus and... Uh, 
tram depot and vehicle depot down here somewhere connected up a little bridge going out over there maybe connected up to this road I want to keep the connections to these two mainly so that any traffic goes and goes can go straight over the bridge I want to try and avoid any pedestrians walking across the middle here so um, yeah I think I'm gonna crack on with this I want to get this depot finished off get me a load of carriages in here on these tracks um, get some functional buildings in uh, as far as this is as far as to here anyway that I, I want to leave this area for later um, those tracks will be coming out and under I've shortened these uh, viaducts a little bit because they were a bit too long but still leaves us plenty of room to run a train through the middle that'll look quite good that one there's a train coming through there and that's going to go into the centre of a village here with some bit more farmland around it <laughs> we need a few new we need some new farmers the farmers are going missing where are they <laughs> sorry <laughs> i watched that bit oh, i watched that little clip back about 10 times so far <laughs> i have been messing with the audio and editing and sort of moving adding sound effects and stuff so <laughs> it was just a bit of madness yeah I was just got bored of doing the normal stuff yesterday, so I did that instead. I won't be doing one of them with every episode. Let me tell you, because that took ages. Because <laughs> that little that little clip there took far far too long to make. I really I could have gone and decorated a load of stuff up in the time it took me to do that, but it was fun and it was something a little unusual and different. Just a uh, you don't want monotony. You don't want you don't want me just laying tracks all the time. But I am going to lay some tracks today. Not many. I'm just going to fill this area in. Let's straighten this bit out a bit. Um, might redo this so it just looks a little bit neater. Once I've got some more tracks, I can get a load of a load of train assets in here. But the main thing is, is getting uh, industrial. Get this full of industrial buildings. Plenty of roads. Some roads going through to the other side, and that will give these three train stations plenty of uh, work opportunities to bring people in. So it should up the um, people on the commuter line. It's 23 going up there now, so they are coming to this station. They are coming down here. There's quite a few people wandering about. So that's good. So yeah, I just want to get the... Uh, I'm going to try and get the, the truck and the uh, road depot... Uh, the tram and the road depot as close to this as I can, if I can. Or I might just have it out here somewhere, I don't know, but I think that's the job for today is to get this get this filled in and then I can I can leave it and go and work once it's done I can forget about it then go and work on something else. I've just been itching to get this done. Right, so I'm gonna jump into a speed build and I'll see you in a bit.
depot decorated up anyway. Um, <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> I still need to do this section. I didn't bring any bridges over either. That little road there is going to get rather busy. <laughs> That's the way the trams can come out. So they can get across that bridge. I think, yep, tram tracks. Yeah. The depot looks better anyway. I've got loads of little carriages on here and stuff just to uh, add. I'm going to go and stick some bushes in between the tracks and things. Just chuck a few in here, there, and everywhere. Just wherever I can get a few, really. Just mainly on tracks that are not being used, though, so we don't get any clipping. Just have a few bushes growing out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it takes ages doing this. But that's looking a lot better. Not quite as sparse. Need to do something up here. I'm thinking of going put in some shops. I think I might just put some shops around these little stations. Just to get people using them, really. Let's see if the AI will start to build out towards them. I don't think it's going to reach that far, to be honest. So, some of these stations I'm probably going to have to build up a sort of a community area around the station. I'm going to put some high rises in again later, sort of on the outskirts, on the outer edge of the iron braces. <laughs> have some uh, sort of high rise buildings. We're going to be an area, a high rise up down here as well. I'm thinking of putting the airport in here. If I put one there and one here, then the plane should fly around in a big loop like that. If I sort of position them, I'll play around with the position and see what kind of a loop I can get. I want them to come, a plane coming right across the top of the industrial area. We're 50 years off that yet. <laughs> Just thinking ahead a bit. Yes, yeah, so that's looking getting more complete. Still got to do that bit. Finish off up here as well. Get a few more crop circles in. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> I don't know what to do now. I don't want to carry on doing this anymore. Not for the, not for now anyway. I, I'm going to fill it all in later. I'm going to get all this done. But I don't want to keep just repeating the same thing over and over again on the video. Um, it's just going to be more of the same really. Just placing industry, sticking a few trees around on a few roads here and there. I've got these set to medium capacity. These ones near the station. So people will get on them. On and off there. Let's click it on playing. Let's see if we get some people down here. Mm, good indeed. Is anybody on that? There's 23 on there, but I bet they're going to the. Let's see if anyone gets off. Oh, quite a few got off. Cool. I'm going to them already, that's good. I wasn't sure whether I'd have to wait for it to pick up passengers to bring. Uh, this station is being used. Yeah, so I need to get these stations uh, busier. So, definitely shops on the inside. And commercial area either side of the station. Just to sort of give some draw for people. And then uh, industrial on the, on the other side. Definitely on these ones anyway. <coughs> I need to take it up to here as well, really. Should have brought a bridge over. <laughs> a big square on the floor there. Yeah, so um, I think I'm going to call it a day because I'm tired. I'm, I'm not concentrating very well.
think that'll do for today. We've had a mad introduction <laughs> and a bit of building. Yeah, like I said, I want to get, want to get these, get some shops up in here, right? I don't want this all being industry because this is all industry at the moment. I think. There's a few residential there. Yeah, so we get a, a line of commercial, and then get the uh, get the tram route up and running. I reckon. I want to go. And, I'm going to go and put commercial around each of the stations. Yeah. I'll do that off camera because it's just me placing buildings and sticking a few trees around the back of it. Um, I do want to get the inside line of this all decorated up. And carry this on to at least sort of this area and then do the same on that side as well. And get a couple of roads coming out. And then I think on the next episode, I think I might going to make a start on this castle. Yeah. I think castle, get the train route hooked up. Um, and then get it coming out this way as well. So we've got a three stop job. So we'll stop here in a village. Back to here. And then stop here somewhere nearby the castle. Um load shops around the station and stuff and people magnets in and around the castle then I can have a go at that maze then. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. So yeah, we've got decorations, we've got a little bridge in there, a wooden bridge. Just in case anyone wants to bring a car down here they will do at some point, I'm sure. Not for another twenty odd years yet. <laughs> You're just going to have to walk it for now. These are set to low, I think. Yeah, it's set to low, and some of these down here are set to nil. I wanted to keep this relatively quiet down here. I don't want loads of traffic coming over this section later on. Because if I need to get any buses out or anything, I don't want them stuck here for ages. I just wonder if I can get a medium. I bet you won't like me. No. No, I'd need to redo that bridge in order to make that road bigger. This is a bit... A bit more of a dip than I wanted. I couldn't quite get it to... Sink up right. Ground's a bit dodgy under here. Let's hide it with some bushes. <laughs> you got a bit of ugliness, get the tree gun out and get some bushes. <laughs> Just hide the little bits. <laughs> yeah, there we go, that's better. Yeah, I'm definitely tired. I'm definitely don't want to carry on tonight. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I'm a bit of a shorter episode tonight. Um, yeah, I'll be back soon. So thanks very much again for watching, and I'll see you in a day or two. Bye.